viewers, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Taurus, this is a general energy check-in. I am doing things a little bit differently today, though I am going to provide an extended for this, so the link will be in my description box. Remember, it is a general energy check-in. There's a lot of you in the collective, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. You could check your sun or moon rising. That may help you to connect the dots. Like I said, though, there is a possibility that this is not your reading, and that's okay. Don't try to force it to fit. You will only confuse yourself. Um... You, or you could always just book me for a personal reading. That information is in my description box as well. So, Taurus, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. Let's see what we have here. So we have woman holding a heart in reverse. Six of swords. Two of cups. King of swords in reverse. And five of cups. I'm already picking up an energy of someone who's very, very critical. Mm-hmm very mean person very i'm hearing condescending so this is uh the energy of someone who they think that they're better than everybody but they're really not mm -hmm. uh, someone where you you have a conversation with them and they like to use really big words for like little simple things and it's just like take it down right like they're trying to prove their superiority or prove that they are smarter than others uh, some of you were dealing with somebody who was very um they looked at you like you weren't good enough for them but really, it was the other way around. Mm -hmm. So you felt very overwhelmed with your love life, uh, kind of like fed up. Yeah, very frustrated. Uh, just like when it came to your love life, this sh shit was just not going good. Mm -hmm. Taurus, I feel like for some of you, you felt like when it came to your love life, you just couldn't catch a break. You felt like you just kept attracting the wrong people. Mm -hmm. But it looks like you... You left someone because you started to get real with yourself. Mm -hmm. You started to see the truth of something as well. I feel like you started to see uh, the truth of how someone really was, their true character. As it looks like someone was wearing a mask with you for a while, but mask on, mask off, man. You can't hide who you really are for too long. You know, your true colors eventually have to show. Mm -hmm. What is done in the dark will eventually come to light. Always. Always, always. But it looks like you left somebody. Mm -hmm. And you left someone fast too. <laughs> yes. Someone just packed up their shit and left. Mm -hmm. Or told someone that you need to leave. Now. Mm -hmm. Don't even get your stuff. You need to leave now. I will send your stuff outside or they will be by the dumpster. Mm -hmm. Or you can pick your shit up off the curb. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The thing is, though, Taurus, in this relationship with this person, you weren't in your truth. Uh, I feel for some of you, you didn't really know what you wanted in a relationship. You just knew that you loved this person and you wanted to be with them. But you weren't really clear in yourself on what you want from a relationship and the type of person that you want to be with. It's kind of a situation where love is blind mm -hmm, or you feel like love, love conquers all. And um, to an extent, but love doesn't pay bills. Okay, people have to show up the way they're supposed to show up. Mm -hmm. So you weren't questioning certain things. I feel like some of you too, you may have been married to this person and you didn't question the sanctity of your marriage, right? You just believe that, well, from you're married to somebody or you have a child or children with them, you stick it out to the very end mm -hmm. till death do us part. Even if this person is going out of their way to try to kill you, mm -hmm. you stay with them. You weren't questioning things like that. But some of you, you were with a soulmate. This was a karmic soulmate, though. They were supposed to teach you something. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I feel like you learned. I feel like you learned. Because you were with someone who didn't know what they wanted. So this person could have... Uh, they acted like they wanted a commitment. You know, and one minute... Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So you were with someone who was wearing a mask with you, Taurus. So because this person, they show up as king of swords in reverse. This is not a nice person. Very critical, mean, selfish, cruel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone who causes sadness in your life. I feel like someone embarrassed somebody. Mm -hmm. 
someone popped off on someone in a grocery store or in front of people and it was like someone was went out somewhere and someone thought that it was cool to just go off on them to, to uh, show power and authority. Someone was abusing their power with you, Taurus. Mm -hmm. I feel this energy of embar someone embarrassed you, Taurus. You were with someone who would just, they had no problem flipping out. If they're upset, they flip out on you in front of people. It didn't matter, family, friends, strangers. No, that's not okay. And you started to see that this person was fucked up. Mm -hmm. It was like, you say you love me, but you don't. You don't act like you do. I just heard actions speak louder than words. Taurus, you started to get real with yourself and you started to realize that. Mm-hmm. This person was taking advantage of you, Taurus. This was a, a get what I want by any means necessary type of person you were dealing with. So if they had to lie to you and tell you that they loved you, mm -hmm, tell you that they'll always be there and that they need you, they're willing to do it, right? As long as you're taking care of them, as long as you're doing for them what they need you to do, mm -hmm, they'll tell you whatever you want to hear. I, I just heard whispering sweet nothings. Mm -hmm. A lot of sweet talk with no backative. Mm -hmm. This was not someone that walked their talk. This was someone that just chat shit. And this person, they're not balanced inside. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of healing to do. A lot of inner issues that they need to take a look at. That they need to take a flashlight to. Mm -hmm. Shine a light in their own darkness. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing someone in my third eye running out of the darkness and coming back. Running out, coming back. So this person was confused. Mm -hmm. They didn't know who they were. And that's because they weren't connected to themselves. They weren't listening to their higher selves. They weren't connecting to source. And they had a very, very difficult time connecting with others. This person is someone who doesn't really know how to speak to people. They come off real harsh and abrasive and abrupt. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like I just asked you if you put the cup in the sink. You don't have to be an asshole about it or you don't have to be a bitch about it. You know, make a rude mar remark. Mm -hmm. You were also dealing with someone, Taurus, who would, if they were having a bad day at the office or someone pissed them off, they would take it out on you because you're there. Mm hmm Someone asked somebody to pass the remote and this person just went off on them. Oh, you're fucking lazy. Why don't you get off your ass? And you're just like, I just asked you to pass the remote. Like, what's your problem? Mm-hmm. Eggshells. I just heard eggshells. Some of you were walking around on eggshells with this person because you didn't know what mood they were in. Mm-hmm. And this person was usually unhappy, Taurus. They were unhappy with themselves. They were unhappy with their life. Mm-hmm. You were their only saving grace, I just heard. Yeah, you were the one that was keeping this person afloat emotionally, mentally, because this person's confused. They didn't know if they were coming or going. They didn't know if they want to be with you or they didn't want to be with you. Sometimes they have passion for you. Sometimes they didn't. Mm -hmm. They had no idea. This person is uh, emotionally immature as well. They're immature, period. Mm -hmm. So you started to see this. And the thing is, the beauty of this is you started to listen to your higher self. You started to listen to your intuition and you started to see the bigger picture of things. You started to see the truth of something about someone, someone's character. I feel like uh, some of you, Taurus, you found out about some deceptive behavior. Mm -hmm. Something has to do with money with somebody. Somebody was uh, stealing money from someone or hiding money. Mm hmm. Someone had someone come to them about uh, some kind of business deal or this person tried to get you to invest in some business with them or something. I hear Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. But this person is not to be trusted. This person would have stole your money, told you that they were going to do something with the money and do something completely different or get it and set up only the accounts in their name so you have no access. Mm -hmm. So it's really you invested in their future, not yours. Because this person had no intention of building anything with you. They don't know if they're coming or going. Mm -hmm. And you started to see that. Someone tried to forge documents or something. Forge some documents, legal documents or something. 
and somebody found out, Taurus, you found out, you, you realize that this person was a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing miserable. They were miserable. Just a miserable personality. Nothing makes them happy. And how could it? They're, they're all, I'm very unhappy inside. They didn't even know who they are. And you coming from your higher self, listening to your intuition, you started to see the bigger picture and seeing, seeing that this person was not who they said they were. That you were not going to have the relationship that you thought. Mm -hmm. And even if this person is a soulmate, this is not the kind of relationship that you want. This is not the soulmate relationship that you want. You want to be happy. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a mate for your soul, right? Good things. Not an enemy. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you felt like you were sleeping with the enemy. Because this person would say that they love you and then turn around and do the worst to you. Mm -hmm. You realize, too, that this person didn't really love you. Mm -hmm. You realize also that you made a mistake in being with this person. Mm -hmm. Because this relationship was going nowhere. And I feel for you, too, Taurus, that you were in regret. You regretted being with this person. You regretted the relationship. Mm -hmm. When you started to take a real hard look at things and step back and start evaluating uh, the experiences that you've had with this person, you regret you regretted being with them. Some of you, you felt like you wasted your damn time. Mm -hmm. So how does this person feel about you, Taurus? Not surprised to your father. Five of water. Journey. And 12 of water. So this person looks at you as, you could have a child or children with this person or could have been married to them, but they look at you as someone who is stable, someone who is secure, someone who has their shit together, mm -hmm. someone who has a spark. There's just something about you, Taurus, that this person can't really explain, mm -hmm. but they are in re deep regret as well. They feel hopeless. They feel powerless. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this person is praying now. They weren't praying before. They were praying on you. Mm -hmm. Predator and prey. And you were the prey. And now the tables have turned. Because mm -hmm. now this person is in regret. Now this person is feeling sad. Now this person is unhappy. Now this person is in grief, sorrow, despair, mm -hmm. fear. I'm telling you, I, I saw some legal documents that someone's trying to, I felt like someone's trying to forge them. Somebody could be feeling uh, powerless because something's coming out mm -hmm. about something that they did. Mm -hmm. Are they hoping that you don't out them about something, Taurus? But this person is in a lot of self-doubt. They're in a lot of fear as well. They see that you are, you are on a journey to being the best version of yourself. They also see that you are very intuitive. They see that you are wise. Mm -hmm. They see that you follow your own advice and it's usually good. For some of you, this person looks at you as someone that they could talk to. Mm -hmm. They miss their friend. They, they looked at you as someone they could confide in, but it has to be both ways. You can't just have your cake, <laughs> right? You can, it's your cake. You should eat it, but you should share. If you're in a relationship, you should share it. Mm -hmm. So it was always take, take with this person. As this person looked at you as good peoples, but they weren't good peoples to you. They weren't reciprocating that. Mm -hmm. This person could talk to you, Taurus. You're someone who would listen to them, give them good advice, um, get come from a subjective, uh, objective place, give an objective uh, opinion about something. You're not taking sides. You're just looking at the, the facts of things and giving them good advice. Mm -hmm. This person looked at you as someone who always had something good to say mm -hmm. to make them feel better. Remember when I said that people can um, take from you, but it's not just physically, right? They could use you for your time. They could take advantage of your time, your energy, your effort, mm -hmm. your attention, your focus. Take it off of you, put it on themselves. 
this person, they're in regret over the fact that they, you know what I heard earlier? I heard you like, you might win some, but you just lost one. This person feels like they just lost one. They just lost a winner. Mm -hmm. And they're in despair. They feel like they fucked up. Yeah. This person's not in a good space right now. Mm -mm. So let's see how you feel about them, Taurus. <laughs> we have here six of air. Nine of fire. Maiden. And ten of earth. You know what song I'm hearing in my head? I ain't worried about nothing. Nigga, I ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> I think it's French Montana. Taurus, you're not worried about this person. No, you're not. Because you got an epiphany. Yes, you got some emotional enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Some of you were watching tarot or may have gotten, uh, gotten a tarot reading on this person. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you realize some things, right? It just confirmed your clarity of thought about this person. You're thinking clearly about this person now. Mm -hmm. No more pulling the wool over your own eyes, Taurus. Yeah? You realize that the solution to this problem was to leave the ass. And you left. Mm -hmm. And you feeling good. You're confident. Mm -hmm. You're confident in your abilities. Remember, Taurus, you show up as father, which is equivalent to the emperor. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's no gender in tarot. You could be a bad mama jama or you could be a bad bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you want your shit and you're confident and you're moving as the best version. Remember when I said this person sees you that you're on a journey to becoming the best version of yourself? Because you are. And they can see it because they be watching your ass. Mm -hmm. Whatever you are doing, Taurus, some of you are doing something. You could have started a business or you are expanding a business. Some of you are really excelling at your job or learning a skill. Mm -hmm. But it's going to bring a lot of abundance. And a lot of you, too, are moving towards creating your dreams. And you're very, very confident about it because you know what you're doing. You know you got this. You're in your I got thisness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of you are per perfecting a craft. And it's going to bring a lot of abundance because it's coming from a space of you doing you. Being... <laughs> unapologetically authentic. Yes. A lot of you are moving towards your dreams, creating your dreams, mm -hmm. becoming more independent, walking in your independence. Your self-esteem is high. Your confidence is high. Your self-love is high. Mm -hmm. You're on a new path. You're on a journey for yourself, from yourself, by yourself, baby. Mm -hmm. Right? And let me tell you what's going to happen here. You got 10... You got 10 of earth, Taurus, right? Are you not an earth sign? Okay, confirmation, confirmation. You are creating happiness in all areas of your life. Why? Because you're focused on you now. Mm -hmm. You're done with all of this stuff from the past. You learned what you needed to learn from this person, from this cycle, and it's over now. You're not looking backwards. Mm -hmm. Forward bound for you, Taurus. Because you got good things that you are manifesting. Good things. For some of you, this stuff is happening now. Life is good now. And in the future, it's going to be even better. You have a lot of growth around you. So whatever seeds you are planting, Taurus, keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to bring man, um, abundance, uh, money. Just manifest. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Better relationships with people and romantically. Yeah. You're not even thinking about this person, Taurus. <laughs> You're not thinking about them at all. Mm -mm. You're focused, man. Mm -hmm. And you're focused. And it's coming from a very passionate place of just wanting the best for yourself. Mm -hmm. So you realize that you need to be the best version of yourself. So having these people around you that were on some foolishness, you're not having that anymore. Mm -hmm. You had your epiphany. You had your aha moment. Oh, I feel like one, one of you in this collective was like, you know what? My life is a lot better without you in it, so I'm going to stay away from your ass. Mm -hmm. And when I say you took off like a rocket, Taurus, you took off like a rocket. Some of you were dealing with a Libra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of you were dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. 
And some of you could have been dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But Taurus, you ain't worried about nothing. <laughs> Life is looking sweet for you. You're done with all of that shit. You're done with them. Mm -hmm. On to the next one, honey. On to bigger and brighter things. And this person sees that. Mm -hmm. And it's killing them inside. It's killing them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because they see how much better you're doing without them. Right? <laughs> you were doing good before. And now without them, you're doing even better. Right? Because you dropped all of the crosses. Mm -hmm. All of the drama, all of the negativity, all of that low vibrational energy, you kick that shit to the curb. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to wrap this up here. If any of this resonates, click the like button or leave a comment. I love to read them. I'm going to take this over to an extended where I'm going to be asking questions like, what does this person want with you? What is the outcome? And of course, invaluable, invaluable advice from spirit. So if any of that interests you, the link will be in the description box. So Taurus, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.